Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution. All roads lead to Delhi playing as India. Uh, we're pushing towards the end of the second quarter here. And I'm going to see what the surplus is. I think I recovered budget wise. Oh, a mole. Our mole was caught red handed when he attempted to eliminate. Oh, I didn't think he was going to try to. Apparently, I gave an order to uh, assassinate somebody. Alright, I didn't think that was happening. President of Kazakhstan, yes, absolutely meet them. I'll make a deal with Kazakhstan, improve relations with them, bring them into our trade network. Mujahideen oh, agent died. Alright, so apparently I tried to kill somebody? I don't remember giving that order. Uh, maybe that was just a misclick. Still have a carrier out here in the Arabian Sea. We have several cruisers in the Bay of Bengal. I haven't really dabbled in these areas too much. Gonna have to start moving troops closer to Bangladesh if we are gonna eventually go to war with Bangladesh. That was apologies out there to the Bangladeshis. I know there's some Bangladesh subscribers. I don't sorry if they, I don't know how to say that name. People from Bangladesh. Um, looks like this is a naval base. We'll probably have to hit that. We'll definitely hit this army base and that army base and that military. If we can hit them all simultaneously, there's a good chance uh, we can knock most people, most everything out right away. 72 fighters there. No fighters there. We could use more fighters. No fighters there. We're going to have to redeploy uh, some of our aircraft. I don't have any fighters in the area. Get moving, the oldest person in the world. You have to strike while the iron is hot. Okay. She wants me to do something. I don't know what. 200 missile launchers. No fighters in this region whatsoever. We have we had relocated all our fighters out to the Pakistani front. There's 123 fighters. Let's redeploy them. Fighter redeployment. No no fighters there. 8,000 killed in the war against the Mujahideen. No fighters there. 300 fighters here. Let's move 200. This is difficult. Because uh, <laughs> I have to watch violating people's airspaces. That was part of the problem last time. Probably going to launch everything out of this base, I guess, then. Two hundred, hundred twenty, and there's another two hundred. That's three hundred and twenty-three fighters, plus the seventy-three we have to the north. I guess I could take a uh, hundred fighters to each army base and air base, and then direct these seventy-three fighters to take out the naval base, and that should be enough. The only other thing I should do is send like uh, a sizable army to the capital of Bangladesh. What's their army look like? They have 157 men in their army, so I should have at least two to three hundred thousand men ready to launch an attack on their capital. I'm gonna need some army bases out here, I think. I've got 200 missile launchers there. One army base would be good, but that is not on our schedule for the budget. Not yet, at least. Good morning! I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I wanted you to see in order to submit to you this economic contract, which, as you will see, is profitable for both our countries. I do want to deal with Pakistan. I, not Pakistan. Uh, Kazakhstan. Milk! Annual sale of milk. They want us to buy milk from them. 900. Or they're buying milk from us. 900 milk.
Are they buying or selling? I always get confused. <clears throat> Our purchase price. So that means that they want to sell it. And they don't have, they're not producing enough. I don't care. I'll make a deal with them. I'll just get a better price, though. I don't understand what's going on there. Let's check this out. Kazakhstan. Strategic alignment. Economic relationship. We want to improve this number here for sure. Alright, let's see if we can make a real deal with you, Kazakhstan. Purchase. Should I purchase? Should I purchase anything from Kazakhstan? I think water networks. Um, Shane Gandhi. I don't know if I pronounced the name right again. Uh, mentioned that our water networks have diminished. Yeah, it's gonna be, that's a problem for our food production. Kazakhstan does definitely not have any water, so that's not really where we're gonna go. We should probably go for Kazakhstan, I'm thinking things like oil and natural gas. Okay, so we already have a bunch under contract. We could definitely use oil, and I think I could get oil at a cheaper price from Kazakhstan. What is the price of oil from OPEC, though. Ah, crap, I can go into it. Alright, instead of oil, let's look at natural gas. I can make a separate offer for oil. I definitely could use natural gas. Their purchase for sale price is a little bit higher than... Uh, well, it's not higher than our purchase price, but it's kind of high. out here. What I would like to do is have pipelines, actually. There's she an OPEC price somewhere. Don't know what it is. It's gotta be cheaper. Whoa. No, we're not going to be dealing with them on oil. Alright, just get out of that deal. Let's see here. What can I purchase? What can I purchase? No natural gas, no oil. Uh, who told me I should be selling electricity? Jarvis Lee, I think, told me I should be selling electricity, but not to Kazakhstan. Selling electricity, which I do have a pretty decent surplus, uh, to Qatar, I think? Qatar, Bahrain, and a few other countries? Fuel. I don't need fuel. Milk. I am backing out of this thing. Let's see if we can get a military alliance non-aggression pact with them. No. Alright, no deal with Pakistan. Ah, uh, Kazakhstan. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't understand what's going on there anyways. 
All idiots. What's the point in getting through the century to see such garbage? <clears throat> I would kick your ass. Oh. And kick the asses of your idiots. Oh, wow, but she I hates respect me. the office. My poor country. What have you become with such fools? Old folks. Well, she hates me. But my popularity has never been better. Can't get better. How is the country looking? 15% unemployment. Growth is at 3%. 7.3 inflation. Better than where we were. Horrible. But better than where we were. And again, I don't want to depend too much on trade. I want to build a domestic economy. I would like to build an economy based on domestic consumption primarily. Budget excess is $28 billion with $32 billion reserve. Saudi Arabia, no. Not Bhutan. Not interested in talking to Bhutan. We have good relations there. Alright, so our fighters have been deployed. We are waiting for the end of the quarter. There still is a conflict with North Korea. Disaster in Portugal. Speaking of disasters, how is our disaster situation looking? That is a lot of damage. Wait a minute. Yeah. All right, let's take care of a third of that damage. <clears throat> And let's look at the famine situation. I think we have uh, 13, let's send 15 billion there. Is this how many, how much is remaining? I'm, uh, I'm getting confused by that one. Get rid of that. Yes! Alright, congratulations Prime Minister of Fiscal Performance. Last quarter we created a surplus in the Treasury. Moreover, since we have completely repaid our debt, these amounts will form Treasury Reserve, uh, which will be used to finance investments. I already read this stuff. Uh, so we had a nice surplus there. No. <clears throat> so, time to spend with our surplus. GDP per capita is stuck at 5. See, I gotta get this number up. If I want to contribute to, um, if I am going to contribute to a domestic economy. Now, there's been a push for civil servants, so we're going to go ahead and raise their salaries. That was requested to 3.2 billion. Alright, so that should hopefully appease them. Of course, that'll cut into our surplus, but we now have a $58 billion treasury reserve, so we can definitely spend some money. First, we're going to spend on broadband. In the media, broadband construction. Let's slow things down here, because it seems like uh, the game is not moving as quick at this high speed. Let's move into construction, broadband. We're going to try to up distribute other full territory. Let's up this to six. Six percent coverage. That creates nine thousand jobs and sixteen billion dollars. Less than two months to complete. 
begin construction there. And we'll just look at the reactions. Uh, Mr. Of Industry, you can go ahead and check on that. We're going to take a look at the internet services, right? <coughs> the right one, not industry, I want it to go into services. And we'll just look at the statistics here. First of all, overall services profits are at a billion. Sales are at 3.7 billion. This is the total service sector. In billions. Ah, so it's a trillion. That makes sense. A trillion dollars in profits, 3.7 trillion in sales, GDP total is four trillion. How that, there's a difference there, I don't know. Trade balance. Looks like it's a lot lower than it was, I guess. We're not exporting as much, but maybe we're importing more services. No, nope. our, our export, service exports has definitely dropped in half. Why that is, I don't know. <clears throat> Probably because our, uh, Maybe because our salaries are going up, and it's not as much cheap labor. That's the only thing I can think of there. Uh, internet services, we want to focus on particularly. Trade balance has gone up tremendously, internet service. Uh, that is more than, uh, increased more than tenfold. Profits, tremendous profits. 6% production worldwide. So. Manpower in millions. Nine million jobs have been created. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine million jobs have been created since we've been expanding that broadband. So hopefully that'll improve in general. What's going on here? 3% growth. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last Increasing month. Increasing provision. This is an average figure. It average figure. Unemployment remains stagnant. 15%. Broadband construction has begun. Hopefully this will create jobs. No, we don't want to do that. All right, all that is underway. Next, I want to work on housing. Right? Or no? Base salaries and broadband. This is all I want to do this quarter, actually. Housing will be next quarter. Our government. Okay, we're going to keep working on that government. Uh, one thing I did decide I would also want to fund is the space program. Space research. We have a program that needs funding although a lot of our space programs have stalled right another there's some in, uh, in effect preparation we have return of Apollo and Saturn 6 the Saturn 6 mission is set for June 30th one year it will launch on June 30th in 2026 and this is super heavy rockets. All right, with a payload of 50 tons into low Earth, low Earth orbit, 2,000 kilometers, uh, strong capability rocket will be able to send large habitation modules and their crew anywhere in the solar system. That is really what we're looking for. Though. That's a big one. Estimated risk of failure is zero. We are a go for that. Amount financed by project this year, 90% by us. 10% by other agencies, including the European Space Agency, Italy, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Luxembourg. This is all like token amounts here. Uh, Hungary, France with four measly four million. Netherlands, 214 million. Spain, 189 million. Thailand, 90 big big contributions. Iranian network. We're not going to mess with them right now. <clears throat> the other mission is to Apollo. Uh, return of Apollo, or should be Return to Apollo, I don't know what I would call it. Uh, out of the United States launch pad, they are contributing $66 million. Czech Republic, uh, Netherlands, Indonesia for some reason is costing us. 
Italy, Belgium, Denmark, Spain, Norway, Kazakhstan showing up there. A lot of partners in this collaboration and a lot of interest. Three star interest to the moon. Space probe with exploratory robot. 4% chance of failure. This is 2029. 4% chance of failure really doesn't seem that bad. And 92% financed by us for not getting as much financing. Uh, and here we go with the other program. This does not have to do with our moon adventure. Instead, has more to do... This was a uh, subscriber recommendation? I forgot who recommended this. Uh, but Russia seems to like it. And there's 11% contribution, so it's more than the Apollo program. Kazakhstan is in, Belarus, Iran has thrown their... Oh, proposals! Oh, we've got proposals! Let's take uh, Belarus. Yes, except the partner. Excellent. <clears throat> more financing. Up to 12% financing. Alright. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. Maybe hopefully we'll get Kazakhstan in the next round. I miss Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan would have been good because I want them in our trade alliance. But Belarus contributing to 16 million. That's 1%. Okay. So. I'm happy with the way things are going. Let's uh, speed things up here. Broadband construction. Increase uh, wages to government employees and accepting a new partner in the trade program is just about all we're going to do for now, I guess. Famine. Yeah, we've been transferring uh, money to pay Our for... Our sportsmen are ready. But if I may, a few words of encouragement before the national team's departure would surely galvanize the troops. I don't know what the event that is. Uh, population is at 1.7 billion. We're going to get to 2 billion soon with population. The competition will begin in a week. All our athletes are in top four. Good. China, not going to mess with that. All right, so really I want to raise this GDP per capita number to increase domestic consumption. Uh, if unemployment I want to bring down. Inflation I want to bring down. And growth I want to bring up. And I'm not going to do much more in this quarter, I don't think. Just going to try to wait things out. Um... I guess I could look at the war in Afghanistan. A lot going on here. Missile launchers. That was a quick hit. I think I want like a small base where I just have like 20 missile launchers or something like that. They're not launching.
Iranian network. I'm not messing with this Iranian network. Peru, for some reason. Bargain concluded in Maldives. Okay, that's good. Now have an informant inside Maldives. Deaths abroad. Afghan forces seem to be pulling back. Why do we still have agents in Namibia? Can I get rid of these agents in Namibia? Exterior. Manage networks. Namibia is not there. Neither is Peru, but I keep getting these offers. I hate it. Bangladesh, political spying. I'm looking for something on Bangladesh. Consult files on heads of state. I don't think we have any dirt on Bangladesh. Even though it doesn't matter, because we are the uh, on the Security Council now. I'd like to at least have some cause for war. Look at all the stuff we have against China. Purchase of nuclear weapons. Oh, boy. All right, happiness declines in India. Really? New ambitious space program. The United States. The preparations Community. are complete. Yes, let's go to that event. No new... Ah, we lost Kazakhstan. Maybe another meeting with Kazakhstan. No, I don't want to eliminate their head of government. That's the party. Big poverty, satisfactory level. Let's see where we are with poverty. Look at this. This crazy spike is making me nervous. That's going to hit... That's going to hit the workforce at some point. That's going to destroy unemployment. Or destroy employment. Big poverty. Poverty level is still pretty high, 23%. But it looks like it's slowly going down. That's after the. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's from the trade deal. Then it shot up again. Maybe that was from. I don't know what that was from. Me raising the. Uh... Our sportsmen are ready. But if I may. A That's few another more... event. I don't know what that is. Nice performance. Our country ranked 11th just behind the United Kingdom. Excellent result. I don't know what events these are. We have a bold sports policy. The competition will begin in a week. And we seem to be doing really well in sports. Sports and culture, which makes me think. Maybe. I just want to... I want to find the right city to do it in. Thinking about having a film festival. Three point six million. Three point six million is a lot. I don't want to do it in Delhi. I, should I do it in Delhi? I guess I should do it in Delhi. All roads lead to Delhi. Ten million people. All right, so we're gonna do a film festival. Since we're doing so well in uh, culture, I'm thinking about and film festivals really aren't that expensive. This could boost tourism. We frustrated industrial sabotage attempt by Saudi Arabia uh, sought to infiltrate one of our most sensitive research centers. Two agents from the network were arrested, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Wow. Saudis, we got the Saudis coming after us, huh? Events. Create an international festival. Choose my theme. Theater festival, literature festival, film festival is what I want. And I'm going to contribute five million to it, sure. And let's do it, uh, who knows. Let's do it uh, January 31st. Go ahead. New Delhi Film Festival. 
Five million dollars. The theory that says... No, I don't want to deal with you. August 28th. Enemy units spotted. Foreign policy, culture... Cinema. Got a nice little boost there. And... We were losing, ooh, $46 billion excess. Wow. We're going to spend a lot of money next time. No new partners still. Ugh. No, I don't want to eliminate that. Enjoyment. Enemy units spotted. Where are you? Slow this down. Probably not going to get them. It's probably too late. Time today, please. Oh, user interface, I hate you. Okay. Oh, you are the worst user interface ever. Hit that target. We should bring back our zigzag approaches, probably, right? I want tanks for that. I have three tanks. The level two. Let's go. Let's give the order. Zig. Zag. Cross. The country. See what type of damage these tanks can do. And cycle it. And I'm going to bring in some helicopters for support as well. Let's go. That's all I want you to do. It looks like we had tanks at this airbase too. Send in some tanks. Twenty-seven tanks in the city. Eleven. Good. I gotta check these cities. This is where everyone is. Everyone's in the cities. Good. Fifteen tanks. I gotta go through like every city and find all the troops. It's so tedious because I can't do that. Uh, I can't click on all of them and order them all to one spot because that'll end up sending forces through Bangladesh. That's why I have to conquer Bangladesh. So again, I'm sorry. Bangladesh is gonna have to go soon. They are on the chopping block. Because I have these bases out here. Okay, I think we've got about 35, 34 minutes here. So uh, I'm going to leave the uh, next episode, uh, next quarter for next episode. And uh, we'll see what happens. Hope you guys are enjoying the series again. Uh, please do like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, if you haven't done so already. And would like to see more. You can also support me on Patreon below. <clears throat> there are also links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. All down below if you are interested in getting more involved and getting more updates on my channel. Feel free to comment as always. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.